today, what you're going to see, it's 2019. Your space is open. Drones are flying. Did we have to close the road? No. Did we have to tell people in the campus that they cannot be around? No. They are here, minding their own business, and they are drone around doing useful things for society. And this is the message today, and this is what we will see right now. Let's go straight to uh, nine kilometers south to a lab that is uh, getting ready to come here to get a blood sample. Here is the Swiss Post and Matanet drone, uh, that's a collaboration between the two companies, ready to take off. Swiss Post is able to be 80% faster, 80% faster on overall on delivery in, in such situations. So when we talk about energy savings, this is exactly what you were mentioning this morning. It allows us not only to be safer, more efficient, but also to uh, have this uh, traffic that is much better in the city. So here it is, and we'll see it coming. It's coming here, it's coming to us immediately. So with that being said, how do we make that happen? This is happening on an urban environment over the city of Zurich, and it's BVLOS, so beyond visual line of sight, meaning that no pilot is seeing it all the time. And this is the most complex kind of operation you can imagine. So we need to have data. We need to have a digitalized access to airspace. And we're going to have a look at what it means exactly. This is U-Space. U-Space is a set of interconnected services. And let's have a look at the map of um, Switzerland right now, where you see drones. All the drones you see here, and this is where it is a world premiere, all those drones are flying right now. It's not a simulation. All of those are actual operators that are registered to use space and are now flying for us. And we also have other companies, like from ETH, we have Alterion and Wingtra. Uh, are, those are pure uh, ETH companies. We have Meteomatics, they, they gather uh, weather data. So you have a lot of different use cases, and all of them are now flying together. So back to use space, if we look at the different areas, first, what, what, what we see is first that we know that there are drones, and we know who they are. So it means they've been registered. Second point, they're identified. We know where they are, so we're able to put them on the map. So the first two services. The third one is geo-awareness. So what is around you? And first, when you think of geo-awareness, you have those blue areas. So this is the controlled airspace. So that means that SkyGuide is has to manage this airspace. When it's blue, it means you can fly up to 400 feet, and you don't have to ask anything. It's fairly simple, but you have additional rules for additional safety. When it's orange, then you have to talk to SkyGuide. But when I say talk, we're in the digital age. You know, you can call the tower and ask them for permission. Not very efficient, not good for them, not good for scaling operations. So we have now means of doing that automatically. And this is really key in the automation, digitalization of society. So drones are leading the way also there. And <clears throat> this is not it. You see also the red areas. So red is not that it's restricted and you cannot fly there at all. Those are nature areas. And again, you mentioned this morning very rightly that we have to pay attention we are not the only users, not of the airspace, not of the ground. It's all together. And digitalization helps us understand who else is impacted by our operations. This is extremely important for the industry. So now we have that view of what's happening in the ground. But again, we're not the only users of the airspace. And we can also add now manned aviation. This is another other layer. So that's use space. Layers upon layers upon layers of useful digital information that you can use to plan your operations. Now, we, we want to have safe operations. So these are the basic building blocks. But we can add more. For the industry, safety is key. Obviously, you, know, you don't want to have to run a business where you can put anyone in danger. That's 101, right? So what else can you do? You can add additional information. And here we have Swisscom that partnered with AirMap to add what we call a density map on, on, on the screen. So the red zones are where there are more people, and then as it goes to gray, less people. So fairly easy, very intuitive to understand. And what you can see is that you can plan your operation around the area. So again, this is digitalization of the access to airspace 
But not only, there's something very important, very important that I want to add here, is that you are also leveraging existing infrastructure. And so if we want to have cheap operations, we need to use infrastructure that have already been built for others. So here Swisscom is doing uh, that part, and, and we'll see it in many other areas, and that I'll leave it for, for later. So let's have, let's go back. So what does it mean to have a lot of drone operations? I think we, we want to go a bit deeper into that. The ETH Zurich campus is a small city, and they have a maintenance team. They might need to have a look at different other buildings. So let's say they think there might have been a leakage on one of the buildings here. Um, and, and they want to see how they can, you know, if they need to act. They're part of use space for safety, but also for accountability. They want to tell people, I'm here, I'm a good citizen, I want, to, I want you to know what's happening. So this is what they do with Anafi here. And you can see, it looks all good. All right, so no need to act for now. With that, we should have now the, the drone coming, and here it is. That's our drone that we're seeing nine kilometers away. Uh, a few minutes, and it's coming 70 kilometers an hour, straight to us. And now it's going to get, get here and hover and slowly descend so that it is a safe landing. So let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. So now you have something very reliable. In 10 minutes, you know with absolute certainty that we will be back and that you will be able to start the, the blood sample analysis. We can see the map of Switzerland, we can see all the drones that are still true. Those are still drones, operators flying, using your space, and we will go back and forth between today and the near future, the very near future. Drone operations are taking off, they're safe, and they're useful for society. And thanks, a big round of applause for all the team that did the amazing work. Thank you.